Welcome to another Acme Minute. Tourniquets have proven to be an indispensable tool in cases of severe life-threatening bleeding from an extremity wound. Current military guidelines indicate that tourniquets can be safely left in place for up to six hours. Contrary to popular belief, damage to an arm or leg as a result of properly applied tourniquet is extremely rare. Tourniquets are most effective at saving lives due to massive hemorrhage if applied prior to the onset of shock. If direct pressure fails to control severe bleeding, the decision to apply a tourniquet should be made quickly. The Committee for Tactical Combat Casualty Care currently recognizes the Combat Application Tourniquet, or CAT, as an effective device for controlling severe life-threatening hemorrhage from an extremity wound. When using the CAT, consider the following steps. Ensure the tourniquet is used without delay for life-threatening hemorrhage. Insert the wounded extremity through the loop of the self-adhering band. Apply the tourniquet to the upper portion of the extremity, proximal to the wound, over the clothing. Ensure that the free-running end of the self-adhering band is passed through the inside slit of the friction adapter buckle. Then pass the band through the outside slit of the buckle. When applying the tourniquet to a leg, ensure that bulky items are removed from the pocket prior to fastening the band. Pull the securing band tight and fasten the band back onto itself. Tighten the windlass only until the bleeding stops. If the victim is alert, they may complain of pain from the tourniquet. Do not remove or loosen the tourniquet and do not allow the victim to loosen or remove the tourniquet. Lock the windlass in place using the windlass clip. Feed the remaining length of the securing strap through the windlass clip. Secure the fastening strap and the windlass in the windlass clip using the windlass strap. Document the time the tourniquet was applied on the windlass strap. Recheck the tourniquet at regular intervals and each time the patient is moved to ensure it remains properly secured and the bleeding remains under control. As always, we recommend you check your local protocols to ensure there are no conflicts with the information provided during this ACME Minute. Visit AmericanCME.com for more education to earn CME credits towards your EMS license. As always, every course at American CME is completely free. This has been another Acme Minute. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.